Hi guys, Raven Song here. Hey, I have got a package of decks in that I am very, very excited to look at. One of them is one that I know you guys have seen before and it's always kind of interested me, but I never pulled the trigger on it before. But since I was looking at this other deck, I decided to go ahead and throw it on there um, since it came from the same place. And um, who does it come from? Um, curatedcards.com? The curatedcard.com. Um, so you can guess what that is. That is the world of Hilda Tarot. Yes, I've been wanting to get, like I said, I kind of wanted it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to go, you know, hunting for it or anything like that. And I um, wasn't sure what I wanted to do. This is an interesting box. It pulls out like that, like a tuck box, but no, it, it is a tuck box, but it tucks on the side. Oh, I did. I asked for it to be signed, so that was really nice. Um, R. Marin. Marin? Yeah. Reese Marin. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to do a quick look at these. Um, we'll keep this short and sweet. I like the background. The yellow polka dot. Yellow polka dot bikini. <laughs> and this is a plus size deck is what they call it. So we got the full and the magician. I can flip these over so they would go back the same way. And the high priestess, the empress. <laughs> the, the looks on her face are just hysterical to me. I wasn't sure if I'd like this deck, but it could be kind of fun. Especially maybe with a girls weekend or something. In fact, I'm going on a girls weekend here soon. I might take it with me. We might have some fun with this. The chariot and so forth. <laughs> Strength, peeling onions. <laughs> Very cute. This kind of reminds me of the kitchen tarot. Is it kitchen tarot? It looks like a Betty Crocker box. That's that one's this. That's what this kind of reminds me of. The wheel. Oh, we got two wheels. We got that wheel, and we got this wheel. <laughs> so we're getting phone calls. All right, I'll try back. I'll, I'll have to do this quickly here. girl hanged gal oh we got two hanged gal <laughs> I like that one this one I like looking at the sign upside down death that's interesting I'm not sure about that one temperance <laughs> bailing out the boat the devil the tower the star, the moon, and the sun. I know that one of the one of the, and judgment. Ah, now I know what that was. And the world. So that's the majors. Um, I don't think I'm going to go through all of these. I'm just going to quickly look. Eight of Wands. That's cute. So there's no representation of the symbols, the traditional symbols. It's all strictly in her actions and reactions to things. So that's kind of fun. I kind of like that in, in a deck in general. Um, I mean, it helps to have the symbolism in there usually so that you can quickly flip through your mind about, you know, numbers and weight, relating back to Wait Smith and all that. But I like decks a lot that that come across as emotions, feelings, um, situations, response, um, action and response in the imagery. Um, sometimes I think that gives it a, a more in-depth reading for you and your client. Anyways, so that's that's the Hilda. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm actually quite glad I got it. I wasn't sure if I was going to regret this purchase or not, but I am quite pleased with it. And she might have to get her own bag. 
the one that I wanted to purchase that I happened to see on Instagram, I think the trees west of here had it, it had some pictures on there. They were doing a reading and it was like, ooh, that looks like an interesting deck. And that is the Pensive Path Tarot. I think it's fairly new. It's one I've never seen before. So I'm not sure. When was this published? No, it was copyright 2022. So it's been around a couple years. I don't know where I was. I wasn't wasn't on that on that memo apparently. Um, it's a linen card finish. That one's got some damaged corners. It looks like. It feels kind of like McPlain card type stock. So it's kind of a, a um, almost the back of a picture is what it looks like on the like the framed picture of the back of it. That's what that looks like. And this is kind of a curated deck of, it's got no book. Neither of those come with books. And I'm not sure Hilda had it, didn't have anything else. No guides for it at all. But this one has a few cards that have guidelines on them. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't think you need it with the Hilda deck. It says what it is. I mean, just looking at the imagery. So we got the Fool. Turn that over. There we go. The Magician. So this is like curated art. It might be influenced with filters or being kind of, either that or it's more of an impressionistic artist. I'm not sure. Something's, I, I don't know the details of this. Let's see. Explore the unexpected and burden, burden your under, broaden your understanding of conventional tarot archetypes embarked on the curious journey when you unlock the mystery of the treasure trove. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't say anything there. Arcana, minor Arcana. tell you anything so I don't know much about this and I'd have to probably go online to see it but but like I said the artwork looks classical but then again it doesn't it looks like it's been altered possibly and maybe these are pieces of work that I'm just not familiar with I'm more familiar with the classics the Renaissance the you know the Baroque period the pre-Raphaelites and this might be more modern. I'd have to look up more information on it. So this is just the first impressions. It's really cool. I like it. Because it's like it's taking classical art themes, but there's some modern takes within them. That one's kind of gruesome. That's a little gruesome too. Um, this one might be a good pathworking deck because it is kind of the darker side of things. It's definitely not a happy deck like Hilda. Hilda seems like a happy, fun deck. It's a beautiful tower. I like that. The star of butt hurts. I'm going to have to probably get a real diagnosis on my on my hip if it's my sciatic or my degenerated hip or if it's a, a bursitis thing but um it's not getting better it's getting worse <laughs> that one has a child in the sun but then again it's not a son a child riding a horse so that's kind of cool judgment yeah these are interesting this one kind of has the feel of Bohemian Gothic. It's very mysterious and dark looking, but then again, if you look closer every now and then, you'll find little hints of humor. That's wild. That one's really wild. Talk about a green thumb. Two of Wands. These are the Wands. Three of Wands. 
They are more impressionistic otters, though there are some good, um, no, I shouldn't say good, but um, some more classical art styles in here. I like the way these read. I'm kind of, I'm impressed with this Reese Morin, Morin, Reese Morin, and her tarots. They are, they've, they've got a lot of, they're very readable, very easily read just from the imagery alone. It's like you don't have to have the uh, description with them. And maybe I just connect with her better, and there are some decks that I don't. And so they, I just kind of look at them and go, I don't understand. <laughs> That's interesting for two of cups. <laughs> Drinking partners. <laughs> Three of cups. Four of cups. Ooh, she looks pissed off. I like this deck too. I'm really liking it also. I like what's coming across in the in the feel of the imagery. <laughs> Took me a minute to realize what I was looking at there. It's a wall of busts. Walking out that door. Time to leave. <laughs> Not big on clowns, but I, that's not bad. I feel like some of these images are more refined in real life, so I'm kind of wondering if they kind of put it through a filter or not to make it a little bit more rusticy looking. Bloody. Two of swords. Oh my god, it hurts. <laughs> Three of swords. Oh, he's got this little birdie in his clutches. Babies. Babies torturing animals. <laughs> I'm gonna love you and pet you and squeeze you and make you mine. <laughs> This definitely falls along the Wait Smith line, but very readable, like I said, with just the imagery alone, the look on their faces, the, the situations they're in. Like I said, um, um, action and response. Sorry, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because my ass hurts and I need to make those phone calls. I need to call them back. I know one of them is definitely someone who wants to schedule an appointment. And we forgot. Ace of coins or pentacles. Someone doesn't feel so much like juggling as much as it is offering. Praising, honoring. This is a very blatant Five of Pentacles. Very blatant. <laughs> I could do without the clowns, but. They're okay. I, I'll deal with them. <laughs> That's a pretty nine of pentacles. Ten. The 
familia. La familia. <laughs> Last but not least, the King of Pentacles. I like this. I like them both. They're very usable decks. I think these ones might actually stay out on my table. Um, there might be time, seasonal time to change up anyways with the summer solstice. And um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave these two out and work with them. The, the other one, the Galicia, Spain one is going to have to ruminate on for a while longer. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and we'll see you on the tube. Bye-bye.